Okay, so throwing knives. Um, they're a fun hobby. I've been doing it for uh, since I was 13 years old, so about 18 years. Um, but so far in my experience, that's been what it's been. It's just a hobby. Um, they are not very practical for a uh, defensive purpose. I mean, I guess as a last resort or, or if you were trying to interrogate someone for information and you could place them around their body, you know, and try not to miss, uh, you know, they would be maybe useful. But um, they are fun. Um, and it does, you know, help with hand-eye coordination, so on and so forth. But I've been doing this for 18 years uh, almost, and um, it's difficult. Uh, the main thing, the, the, the thing that makes it difficult is, is distance. you got to get your distance right to sync with the rotation of the knife if you want to get any power into the throw. Um, those movies where the guys throw it and it flies straight like a dart, I've never seen that before in real life. Um, or they throw it across the room 45 feet away and sink it into a guy's neck. I've never seen that. Now, I'm not saying that it's never happened. Um, but I've been doing this for a long time and it's freaking difficult. And I've seen some really good knife throwers, um, you know, not be able to do anything close than that. Like, for instance, two full rotations, that's like 30 feet away. That's a long ways away and it's very difficult to hit what you're aiming at from that far away. But anyways, I digress. We've got our friendly uh, water bottle here on the knife throwing block today, and I'm going to try to hit it. I've got five chances. Um, you can back up and get the whole thing in, in view. I hit it, but didn't stick into it. distance was like, my distance was about a half a step off. Notice I didn't stick any one of them because all the knives were going in and they were hitting like that. So I'm going to take a little bit of a step back and I'm going to try again. Got it. That's why you wear safety glasses. All right. Now one advantage, come on up. One advantage to a throwing knife, and I lost one in the big cracked part of my throwing block, so I got a little retrieval magnet I used to get them back. One advantage to a throwing knife, now these don't stick very well is they stick really deep um this is this is you know that's in there versus if i stab this thing as hard as i can it's a whole lot easier to pull out so it's got a whole lot more momentum to it when you're throwing it versus if you're stabbing it as hard as you can so that's another advantage to maybe sinking it into a threat for example but, I mean, I've got five throwing knives right here in my hands. That's almost as heavy as my Smith & Wesson shield is fully loaded. You know, and this is obviously a whole lot better tool than five throwing knives. I've got seven rounds and I can shoot a much further away, uh, further distance away with this than I can throwing these. So it's... It's a, it's a fad. Throwing knives is a fad. It's a fun hobby. But for a practical, defensive purpose in a country where you are permitted to carry one of these with proper certification and training, um, they're not practical. Thanks, guys.